Judging our judges. An advocacy group is working to make sure criminal defendants feel confident that the judge hearing their case will be fair. That group, called Just City today, released findings of a study that went behind the scenes, actually sending monitors into several Shelby County courtrooms to see how judges are treating their defendants. Rebecca Butcher, Butcher I'm sorry, is here now with what the study found. Rebecca? Well, Richard, Just City sent court watchers to sit in on court proceedings. These volunteers took notes on just how four criminal judges run their courtrooms. The volunteers didn't have to be lawyers either. They came from all backgrounds and their names are being kept anonymous. Now, they were rated about one out of four on that scale, one being the worst and four the best. The judges evaluated were uh, Judge Lee Coffey there on your screen, as well as Judge Karen Massey, Judge Chris Kraft, who got some of the harshest critiques, including, quote, heavily factors race into his decisions and uses racially charged language as well as Ronald Lukeski. Now the judges were judged on categories ranging from uh, how the defendants were treated, whether there is access to the courtroom and how and when public defenders are assigned. So here's how they all fared. Now, as you can see on this graph, all four of the judges did well when it came to access. However, Judge Coffey scored on the highest when it came to neutrality as well as dignity. Now uh, Lukeski came in second in those same categories. Now Judge City says, while most Shelby County judges are fair. In some instances, not so much. There are some judges who, if you um, work in the building and work in that system for long enough, you know that they don't do that and that they are notorious or have a reputation for um, being, uh, being rude or uh, humiliating people or trying to embarrass them. And Spickler went on to say it's not his group's goal to run people out of the office, but let people instead know what behaviors the court watchers saw. And of course, the process is fairly subjective. There's no way of knowing the courtroom atmosphere on any given day that might have impacted a judge's mood. Just City does say that they chose these four incumbents deciding to hold off on any new judges for now, but I'm told that more judges will be observed in the future. Richard?